children today we are going to learn the subject maths in that first chapter rational and irrational number which chap chapter number 1 rational and irrational number irrational number okay you know that in already you learned in lower classes about the first one that is natural number all of you familiar with that one natural number you know that is starting from 1 2 3 4 etc infinite then second one is called as whole number h o l e okay w h o l e whole number that is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 etc going on that means it's apart from the natural number zero is also included in that then the third type of number you know already you are familiar that is called as integers okay integers means you know it consists of zero that is the whole number 1 2 3 4 5 and going on and left side we will get minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and this side also it will go minus 4 minus 5 like that clear therefore you are familiar already with natural number whole number integers now the next number we are going to learn that is called as rational number rational number okay in that national number all the fractions will come all the fractions that is in the form of m upon n okay here the m is our rational numbers here m and n are integers m and n are already you know what is integer okay therefore here m and n m upon n and here what is integer what are integers m and n are integers but but n should not be zero n should not be zero clear therefore what is the formula rational numbers means m upon n it should be in the form of and m and n are integers that is positive number it can be minus number and all but it should not be n should not be zero n should not be zero therefore example can you say the example as minus 25 upon 3 2 Seven upon three, zero zero is a rational number. Okay, and minus one upon four, etc. Clear? That is called as what the uh, rational numbers. Okay, therefore rational numbers. How can we show it on the uh, next part? Is how can we show it on the number line? okay how can we show the rational numbers on number line that is number line all of you know how to draw a number line just draw a strong long line okay line means both the side should be the arrow heads should be there middle what will be there zero will be there okay and we have to divide one then next this side is two and this side is next one is 3 here minus 1 then minus 2 and minus 3 then going on both the side how can we show now see which are the numbers we can show it 7 upon 3 okay 7 upon 3 2 minus 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 how can we show these numbers what are the numbers 7 upon 3 2 minus 2 upon 3 2 upon 3 on this number line okay on this number line how 
because see look at the examples given the denominator is 3 wow, here also 3 here also 3 here also 3 therefore we have it to divide we have it to divide this each unit okay each unit how many divisions we have it to divide into 3 okay therefore for that see first part over this is the second part clear here 0 to 1 1 how many points you have to put 2 points okay then here also 1 2 here also 1 2 but therefore because the denominator is 3 each unit is divided into 3 equal parts 1 2 3 this side also see 1 2 3 how many points you have to put 2 clear girls then now see first number is what 7 upon 3 this 7 upon 3 how can you put see 7 from count from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which point 7 is coming that point is what the fraction that is the rational number 7 upon 3 next see the number is 2 already it is there no problem already you have that number 2 here have you got that number 2 6 upon 3 is equal to 2 the next minus 2 upon 3 where it will come minus numbers on the left hand side isn't it therefore left hand side it is coming therefore minus 2 upon 3 how much you have to count 1 and 2 isn't it 1 2 where you reach minus 1 here my 1 upon 3 then minus 2 upon 3 therefore second point which ra rational number will come minus 2 upon 3 next which number 2 upon 3 therefore 2 upon 3 is what it is positive number therefore it will come from this side that is count this is 1 this is 2 therefore the second point the fraction 2 upon 3 that is the rational number now i think all of you understood this and you can now start doing the exercise 1.1 first question is show the following numbers on a number line draw a separate number line for each example because the denominator is different therefore 1.1 we are doing the first sum i am doing for you rest of the sums you are going to solve okay the question is 3 upon 2 and 5 upon 2 and 3 upon 2 what is the denominator children here the denominator is 2 therefore you have it to draw a number line got it draw a number line and first you have it to put the point 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 this side what will come minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 therefore see the denominator is what here the denominator is 2 therefore we have to divide into how many parts two parts therefore how many points will come one see here one here one here one here one 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 now look at the first number three upon two three upon two count one two three it is positive therefore it will come here that is 3 upon 2 come to this side next is uh, all are positive number uh, minus number this is minus number 5 upon 2 5 upon 2 count from here from 0 1 2 3 4 5 therefore this number is called as 5 upon 2 
5 upon 2. Then minus 3 upon 2. See this is minus 3 upon 2. Which, which side will come? Right side or left side? Left side. Therefore left side counts 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3. Therefore that will come here. That is minus 3 upon 2. Now three more sums are there in your exercise. Uh, one second one with all denominator 5. Therefore you have to divide the number line 0 to 1 into how many parts? 5 parts. 5 equal parts. Okay. To uh, divide into 5 equal parts you have to put how many points? 4 points. Okay. Then uh, positive number on the right side. Negative number on the left side. Come to the third question. See the denominator is 8. Therefore each unit that is 0 to 1 you have to divide into how many equal parts 8 equal parts therefore how many points you have to put 7 the next one is 10 that means you have to divide that point 0 to 1 that part into how many point equal parts 10 equal parts for that you have to put 9 points i think all of you understood this one Second exercise there, see, you can see that one, page number 2, you can see um, that question number 2, okay. We are going to do the exercise, question number 2, already they have given the question like this, a number line is given, okay, and they have given the first, the 0 is given here, and 1, 2, 3, this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Clear? And then uh, just as 0 above that they given the point O. Next above the point 1 they given the F. And each part is divided into 4 equal. 0 to 1 is divided into 4 equal parts. That is 1, 2, 3 point. Here also 1, 2, 3. And here also 1, 2, 3. Then here this side also like that. Okay. I think all of you got it. How to uh, draw the number line. Because here... Each one, each part is divided into four equal parts. Clear? Then some point they given as C, D. Okay? This point is given as C. And this point is given as what? D. This point is given as D. Next in the left side they given first minus 3 that point is A. After that two points gone here this side is given as B. And after 1 the second point that is given as E. Given as E. The question is which number is indicated by point B? Point B. Each line is the point B is nothing but which number? That is the first question. Okay. And see here. Point each side denominator what will come? Each part is divided into how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore denominator will be 4. Okay. This is B is in the minus side. Therefore you have to put the sign minus. Then count from here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Therefore, the, po the point is minus. The B point represents minus 10 upon 4. Clear girls? Then second one. Which point indicates the number 1, 3, 4. Which point is 1, 3, 4. First you have to convert this into. This is in which fraction? Next fraction. Therefore proper fraction. 4 into 1, 4. 4 plus 3. 7. 7 upon 4. 
therefore 7 upon 4 where it will come 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which point therefore where you reach the point C got it then the third question C state whether the statement the point D denotes the number 5 upon 2 D represents 5 upon 2 whether it is true or false okay true or false point d anyway it is for uh, what positive number only okay positive number only just to count from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 upon 4 actually 10 upon 4 that 10 upon 4 you can reduce as or no that is 5 upon 2 therefore the statement is what true okay i think uh, we can stop here today complete this exercise 1.1 okay take a 200 page notebook and complete it today itself thank you